Have you ever been rearranging your game room or your toys or something like that and you pick up certain items and you're like, I kind of forgot about this and I love it. Today I'm going to show you some of the items in my collection that I kind of forgot about or recently got that just kind of slipped my mind. I want you guys to see them, so let's check them out. This first item isn't a forgotten item because I just got it yesterday and I need an excuse to show it to you guys. I love, love, love this Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle Giant Mario Rabbid display toy. I became a huge fan of Mario Rabbids. This is the game that got me into, let's say, a strategy style video game because I do not like those type of games at all, or at least I thought that I wouldn't and I thought that I would hate them, but man, this got me into it. I love this toy, I love this figure, whatever you want to call it. I've been seeing it for a while at different places. The prices have kind of always fluctuated, so I never bought it. I've actually never opened it before, so let me open it right now. Fast forward. Wow, it's sealed. Sorry, Ricky. Here we go. Terrible audio. I don't plan on keeping the box to this, so mind me ripping it apart. Wow, this is much more beautiful and sturdy than I was expecting. Holy cow, there is some weight to this. So it comes with a little platform as well to place your little Mario rabbit on. And man, that is just the perfect color, the perfect look. I know I talk a lot about that here on this show, but especially when it comes to an item like a figure or a toy, setting that in the background is just gonna be so poppy. Not, I didn't realize how much I like the white uh, color along with the blue and red. I didn't realize how much more it would make that pop as opposed to Mario's skin color. I think this really is a beautiful figure. Wow, it has the Mario Rabbids on top, some of the eyes, some of the toad uh, circles on the side, kind of stuff you didn't really notice when playing the video game. Again, I love this video game, and now that I think about it, not only did this game get me into strategy games, but it made me like the Rabbids a little bit more, because I'll be honest, when I first played some of the Rabbids games, I liked the games, but I didn't like the Rabbids. They were annoying. They kind of reminded me of the Minions. But uh, now I love them thanks to this. So thanks, Ricky. This is awesome, beautiful. And it will be right back there for all to see. This next one's interesting, and man, do I have a lot of stuff for this, so I'm just gonna kinda grab a few that are here in this room. When I was kinda reorganizing some stuff, I was like, I have quite a few stuff for this. And I'm talking about some of my Cuphead toys. I would say in total I have like 20 different Cuphead items from backpacks to mugs to different accessories. But I also have a lot of figures lying around, some of these vinyl ones, which is interesting to me that I like them because I'm not per se a pop collector. I don't really like pops much. Uh, no hate, but they're not my style and these kind of remind me of pops. Uh, there's also some of these bigger vinyls uh, that Ricky gave me that I do like these ones. And then there's also the fun ones, the little collector ones that you bought inside the, the bags and you kind of get the little hopefuls that like, oh, maybe I'll find uh, the one I want here. It was actually on an episode a very long time ago where Ricky kept buying these surprise bags and he kept getting a carrot. It became kind of a funny thing on our show and I really loved it. Gross. Double gear. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh, Ricky, that means it's for me. Before he opened it, he said, I don't even want the carrot, but he got two carrots. I wasn't happy that he got two that he didn't want, but I wasn't sad. This is horrible. Cuphead is just one of those games that really revolutionized the way I thought about artistic style in video games. I thought I kind of saw it all, and I'm sure I've seen the style of Cuphead graphics before, but for some reason mixed with the style of gameplay we got with that art, it became something that really stood out to me, and I really loved it. And when I talk about a ton of accessories, I have a ton of stuff for Cuphead. I love them all, big, small, silly, whatever. I love the game. And also, if you didn't know, and I'm sure most people know at this point, I have Cuphead tattooed on my shoulder.
So yeah, I like it a lot. Did I say a blot? I like it a blot. Before I go on and show you guys a couple more toys that I really like in my collection, I want to show you a controller that I got recently while game hunting right before everything went down, and I kind of forgot about it because I got it for so cheap. That's this Power A Nintendo Switch wireless controller. I got this for $3. I was able to get this for so cheap while well, one, I was at the swap meet game hunting, doing it the, the proper way that we like to do it to find stuff for cheap, but it was in a big pile of all these different Power A controllers at some guy's booth. It's probably like returns from Target or something like that. but. Most of them were wired. So when this was in there, no, I didn't want to scheme the guy or anything like that. But I did say, how much is this specific controller? And he goes, those are $3 each. I think he thought I meant all the ones that were in there, but I made sure and said, how much for this controller? This is wireless. And he said, they're $3, almost like he was annoyed because to him, it didn't really make a difference. I don't think he really cared or knew or whatnot. So at that point, I don't have to go on and explain to him like, no, you don't understand. These ones are more expensive, blah, blah, blah. No, I didn't do that. So in the end, I got this for three bucks, which is really cool because I love the color and scheme of this one, uh, the dark. I like that it's not the big bright Mario, which normally you guys know I'm a huge fan of. I love the dark Mario setting in this. And I actually was gonna buy this one when it first came out. I remember seeing it on the shelves in Target and thinking, man, I really like the look of this thing, but I didn't buy it because it was a little too pricey. So to have it now for $3 and it works, it works great. I tried it out. That's a steal. Oh, and by the way, I think I got two or three of them. I can't even remember. This one was just lying around and I was like, I forgot about this controller. Again, forgotten stuff in our collections. The last thing is funny that I kind of forgot about it because it's always sitting on my shelf here in this arcade room. But at the same time, it's just one of those things when it's there for so long, you kind of forget you had it. And I'm not gonna carry them because there's quite a few. And that's my Stranger Things figures. I really loved Stranger Things when it first came out. Season two was okay for me, and then season three I fell in love again. But I have to say, overall, I really do love Stranger Things and the cast and everything that the story kind of tells us. I've been able to find most of these toys for really cheap. No, I don't have them all, but being what we are on our show, I don't go buy things off eBay or even really Mercari much. I'm always pretty dedicated to buying stuff only at swap meets, only at flea markets, only when I can find them on the cheap. I have way more fun that way. I enjoy collecting them more. I enjoy seeing them more in my collection. It just makes the experience a little bit more enhanced to me. So I just asked how much for this 11. It's 11 from season two. I've been kind of displaying these in my, ga my game room and five bucks. So I'm gonna do this one for five bucks, but I think they have some more that I want to check out. Let's see, uh -huh. speaking of, there's Will which I don't have Will. These toys are actually pretty decently built. I do have a little bit of a hard time keeping them to stay up. Lately, for some reason, I've been on some sort of luck. They've been staying up. They haven't fallen down pretty much since I put them in this arcade a few months ago, but I used to have some of them in a different location and they would fall down all the time. It was actually pretty annoying. Every time I'd open the door, I could just hear them clunk down. Maybe, maybe it was the upside down. Maybe it was the upside down trying to, trying to take them down. I don't know. I, I don't really know what I say or why I say it most of the time. Also, somehow Eleven has been standing up in like the weirdest position, not falling down. It's kind of blowing my mind now that I see it. Okay, that was gonna be it, but I have one more. I promise it's the last one. It's not really forgotten. It's just my absolute favorite toy now that I really look back. And that's my flying Super Mario Galaxy. I'm not gonna take that thing down. I love it. I have this thing on a little fishing wire. Every time someone walks into my arcade or this office or game room, whatever you wanna call it, most people see that toy right away. Some people even look past the big, bright, and shiny arcades and go, yo, that thing is sick. And I think it's because it actually can look like it's flying depending on the lighting. I have had a few people walk in and go, how is that flying? How is that staying up like that? And I'm like, bro, it's a fishing wire. But either way, I love that Mario. I am loving collecting. I just, uh, I love it all. I love it too much. I'm sure you do too. Let me know some of your more favorite things in your collection that you kind of forgot about, kind of the stuff you don't really talk about or haven't really seen in a while or just kind of forgot existed. For me, really, this topic, if I'm 100% honest, 
was just kind of a way for me to keep game hunting alive and thriving during this weird time in the world. I need to physically talk about it with you guys. I need to physically see comments talking about collecting and what you like and the fun and the thrill of it or even things you forgot about or things you talk about too much. I don't really care what it is. Do video responses, anything. We have to keep retro, physical retro, toys, video games, anything in that world. We gotta keep it alive and thriving. I don't want this to die with everything that's going on in the world. I want this to come out stronger in the end. Let me know what you guys have, some fun stuff. Let's show off, talk about it, whatever. All right, you guys, have a good one. Stay healthy out there. Please do. We wanna see you when the, all this is over. We wanna see you, we wanna see videos, we wanna keep it going. All right, you guys, have a good one. We love you. See ya.